put for board clerks please read the title bill number 259-35 cor as amended by the committee on general government operations appropriations and housing and further amended in the committee of the whole introduced by selena cruz nelson jose pito terlahi an act to amend section 13106 and add a new section 13106.1 to chapter 13 of title 3 guam code annotated relative to permanent and temporary vacancies in the municipal offices of mayor and vice mayor and to amend sections 40110 40124 and 40127 of article 1 chapter 40 division 4 title 5 guam code annotated relative to filling vacancies of mayors the establishment of a municipal planning council mpc within each district of guam and filling vacancies in the mpc thank you uh, madam clerk roll call please senator castro senator castro aye senator lee Senator Lee, aye. Senator Marsh Titano. Senator Marsh Titano, aye. Senator Moylan. Aye. Senator Moylan, aye. Senator Munya. Senator Munya, aye. Speaker Munya Barnes. Hongan. Speaker Munya Barnes, aye. Vice Speaker Nelson. Vice Speaker Nelson, aye. Senator Perez. Senator Perez, aye. Senator Rajel. Senator Rajel, aye. Senator St. Augustine. Senator St. Augustine, aye. Senator Shelton. Senator Shelton, aye. Senator Tidegui. Senator Tidegui, aye. Senator Pito Terlahi. Senator Pito Terlahi, aye. Senator Therese Terlahi. Senator Therese Terlahi, aye. Senator Torres. Senator Torres, aye. Colleagues, Bill number 259-35, COR received 15 ayes, zero nays. Bill number 259-35, COR is duly passed by this body. <laughs> Colleagues, we are at the um, brief extension of remarks. The floor is open. If not, are there any announcements to be had for the weekend? If not, Majority Leader, Vice Speaker Nelson, you are recognized. So just Masi, Madam Speaker, um, before I make the motion to adjourn, I just want to thank the legal team, our clerks, and all of our colleagues for their uh, united contribution in uh, resolving this issue. I know that we may argue that um, emergency is um, semantics, but thank you colleagues for really uh, standing and, and working together. I, I appreciated this session. I felt it was very um, collegial and, and deliberate, and I want to thank you for that and to addressing the people's needs. Uh, on that, Madam Speaker, I'd like to make the motion to adjourn t today's session, subject to call, it, call of the Speaker. predicted uh, yeah, on Friday I predicted that one of the things that we were going to be talking about today uh, was uh, was what was going to happen over at the legislature I mean I I, I did not believe that there was going to be enough votes uh, to support a recall election uh, being thrown out there for the mayor of, uh, of Zotnia uh, you know clearly incapable of being the mayor of Zotnia while he is behind bars uh, he has appointed uh, a, a bunch of members of the community to be part of the municipal planning council uh, and then they may be able to take some kind of uh, of an action uh, or another but uh, Telena Nelson not even sure she's not even sure that that is legal for him behind bars to be able to appoint a municipal planning council uh, and then you got uh, you got Lester comes down from BBMR 
uh, because they invited him. Les comes down from BBMR and says, "Well, how are you going to pay for this election?" And they said, "Well, we're going to pay for it with the uh, with uh, with the money that uh, that we got that's you know not appropriated uh, in the budget." And Lester said, "That ain't your money. It's not there. The governor is going to use that to uh, to make sure that we can pay down our deficit. We're going to be fiscally responsible with this money." Uh, and I I knew that that was going to be the answer. And then I don't know. And then it, then it takes some weird turns from there. Uh, I stopped watching because. Uh, I got a life. Ken Leon Guerrero has no life. He is the other Governor Leon Guerrero, and uh, and joins me now in the program. So so I, I think I framed the beginning of all of this, right? So where 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 did they go off the recall election path, and and into another area where I'm pretty sure there's there's it's going to be just as gray a zone as the one that we've got now. Uh, they went off the recall path in the public hearing when Pedo. <laughs> Uh, informed the world that the mayor was set up by the federal government. He's been in trap. <laughs> and it's all the federal government, you know. It's those col- colonizers exerting their will over the people of Guam to take a good tomorrow out of circulation <laughs> by framing him, by having him beat his girlfriend and hold her hostage for three days and uh, have police officers go to another witness's house and tell them if they don't cooperate with the mayor, bad things will happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, the federal government entrapped him into bragging at a party that he can make shit happen because he's got connections at the marshals, <laughs> at the police, and at the DOC. Okay, uh, uh, so- remember, uh, you're at uh, this uh, talk radio here, so uh, can we speak English, not French. <laughs> well... Uh, he can make so, stuff happen. I think you were trying to say he's a, he's a handy guy oh, at yeah, parties. Yeah, pardon me. He makes stuff. He can make stuff happen. Uh, Close people up matter, magic. appear magically. <laughs> and so, in spite of all that, Senator Terlahi, his former boss, says he was entrapped, and that's when it all got derailed right there. Because when we look at what happened Saturday, I mean. We got a email from uh, Lester. He didn't even show up. He just sent an email, said there's no money. And that's a load of crap because they got money for everything else. And plus the legislature can appropriate money out of special funds like territorial highway, recycling, uh, cancer trust funds. So there's tons of money available at the legislature's fingertips that they could reach into. So the senator's. Uh, punted on that one mm-hmm. and, you know, drank the Kool-Aid so that they could say, oh, it's not us, it's it's Lester. Yeah, all those, and, the mean guys over at BBMR, they, they never give us our allowance, make us go yeah. to bed early. Yeah, I, I mean, then uh, that, fi- that, that beautiful fiction that we can't do anything 240 days, so it all has to be done by March 8th, and because of this and because of that, because of this and because of that, we can't do anything. Whereas the legislature could just, you know, we declare the Jonia mayor's position to be vacant, and therefore we are going to have a special election. Uh Or they could have said, we'll have the recall and let the residents of Jonia decide. But instead of recusing himself, which he should have, because he's got conflicts all over the place. Sure, sure, sure. He even stepped down as chairman of the public safety because he has a conflict. Look what Moreland did when the healthcare bill came up. He recused himself because he has a conflict of interest. So that's where uh, the people of Guam basically well, yeah, but that, okay, so that that will explain it for Pedo. But what about the other fourteen? There were fourteen other people there, uh, and and I think everybody just kind of figured, all right, here's we're here, we got to vote one way or the other. Let's just vote yes on this thing, send it up to the governor's office, uh, and, and you know, I, I think it's another one of those preservations of uh, of the status quo. I mean, she's going to sit on it for the entire nine plus days, and uh, and then maybe it'll pass into into law one way or the other. It, you know. Uh, uh, become some kind of a statute. Uh, but like I said, I think it still will set up that gray area so that say they say, yeah, uh, the Municipal Planning Council may now uh, appoint uh, an acting mayor for Zotnia. All right, well, has that passed the scrutiny of the Attorney General's office? Or is that one of those things where uh, it, he's going to have, Levin's going to go up there scratching his head, giving it to a flunky and say, G- come up with some kind of an opinion for me on this. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen because they didn't solve today's problem because today's problem would have required them to make a stand. Are we going to stand with the people and send a message to government 
officials and employees that the the government that we are no longer going to tolerate corruption and drug smuggling, or are we going to stand with um, politicians who are who unfortunately have a lot of politically well connected insiders wrapped around the axle on meth smuggling? Uh. I mean, look at how many government officials and law enforcement officials employ everybody from homeland security to public health. I mean, when you have security guards at DPW selling meth at the security shack as people drive in, you know, I mean, it's it's the a weird comparison to a Burger King drive-up window. You know? It, it, it was kind of weird, and there's window. all kinds of stories. There's there's now so many of them, and I like to pride myself on being just a little bit this side of, uh, of intelligent, uh, but I just, I cannot keep up now with the number of ex-cops that are in trouble, the number of, uh, of DOC people, current and former, uh, that are in trouble as well, that, that, have all, <laughs> that all of them are messing up, either in district court or, or in our own court. Uh, none of them seem to be showing up for their uh, for their. Uh, their uh, progress report. Well, there was one that showed up for the progress report. Uh, was it uh, Orchola? Apparently shows up for uh, for his progress report. Uh, and uh, the guys over at probation say, yeah, he missed a whole bunch of sessions with us in December, and he's already missing him in in January. So what does Sicola do? Sicola should have put him behind bars. Sicola should have said, uh, we made a deal. You busted up. Uh, you reneged on your terms on a deal. Uh, so you got to go in in a jail. And she said, no, no, no. Tell you what, uh, you come back in the middle of. February, and we'll see if you're able to make progress. I'm going, what? How many chances do these people get? They get a hell of a lot more chances than you or I would. Well, you might get more chances than me. You know, I'm scared to death I'm going to get pulled over for doing 36 in the 35 zone and life in prison. Yeah, well, there, there's, I'm sure that they, if, if they wanted to come after, you know, if they wanted to come after one of us on something, uh, I've, uh, what is it, Luther always said, there's every single one of us that uh, there probably could probably do five years <laughs> in, uh, in, <laughs> in a prison. Uh, you know, if somebody just started scratching around enough, they'd be able to find something on you, something on me, uh, to be able to, to put us away for a little bit and get us, uh, you know, send us a message. Six. 55 in the morning. Buddy, it's always fun talking with you. I, I don't hold out uh, any hope uh, that the that the legislature is going to be able to do anything with this. I, you know, I'm kind of with Angel Sublama. You know, the hands are tied. There's nothing to be done about all well, of this. That's all, there's only nothing to be done because they refuse to do it because they're afraid of pissing off politically well-connected insiders that they depend on for campaign mm -hmm. donations so that they can run for re-election. That's why we have that 15 to zero bill here, 15 to zero on the 181, the war claims and 15 to zero on the fest pack, you know? So until we get senators in place that are willing to stand up for the people, this place, I mean, this meth epidemic is destroying thousands of families every year. And we don't have anybody in the legislature standing up for the families of Guam that are being ravaged by this drug epidemic. And we see it in what happened Saturday. Yep. They passed a bill that doesn't do anything. It doesn't send any other message other than, Corruption and drug smuggling will continue to be tolerated by the senators of the 35th and hopefully the 36th legislature, if you like the way we're doing things. Yeah, but I need to, I, I, we got an election coming up, and on, what is it, the 24th, you and I will be able to go and pick up our packets.